Hey everybody, it's Dadder and welcome back to Galaxy Girls Right Then Last. We left off. Apparently she's seeing something she shouldn't be seeing. So what is it exactly? Well, let's find out. I try to peel my eyes away, but I can't. Neither of them seem to have noticed me. Le neither of them? Okay, length due to the angle. Oh. Um... Huh. Alright. My stomach sinks as I watch Amelia grope and massage at Kodoha's half-naked body. But at the same time, I can feel the lust settling into me. I'm disgusted with myself. My eyes are stuck on Amelia's performance. Okay. I can't believe it. <laughs> I mean... Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm not fucking rec I'm not, I'm not leaving that in the recording. That's <laughs> No. I'm not going to take that risk. I don't not not no. Nah. -uh. <laughs> Again though, it was nice. <laughs> uh Okay. I thought Amelia and I had something or maybe I just imagined it. No, she was definitely flirting with me before. Maybe Sierra will know what to do. After taking a moment to embarrassingly change my underwear, I make my way towards Sarah's room. I knock at the cold steel door and wait patiently for an answer. To my relief, only takes a few moments. Hey, Erica. It's kind of late. You need something, or... Uh, yes, I do. Can I come in, please? The blonde takes a moment to study my face before relenting with a sigh. Okay, just this once. Oh, stop. Don't be a... And after stretching her arms out, she takes a seat on her, on her bed, patting the spot next to her. You may as well take a seat. Oh, you're such a gracious host. Alright, thank you. So what's this is all about? You don't normally come to talk to me. There's a reason for that. And <laughs> there's a... No, never mind. Well, I, I, I kind of saw something I shouldn't have. Sarah's face twists with confusion. Like? I... Might have caught Emilia and Koroha having sex. Her jaw drops. With each other? <laughs> no, with the fucking kit dining room tables. Yeah, who else could there have been? Jeez, I don't know. I didn't even realize they had a thing. Me neither. That's the problem. I thought Emilia and I had a thing. Well, did you make it official, or were you just making an assumption that she wanted to be exclusive with you? I guess I was just making an assumption. In fact, she never even outright said she liked me in that way. She only flirted with me. The blonde crosses her arms and smirks. And there's your problem. You can't just assume what other people are thinking or intending. Communication is key. The fact of the matter is you don't have a monopoly on Amelia. She is her own person who makes her own decisions. She didn't, didn't even do wrong by you. You're just being jealous. She can sleep with whoever the hell she wants. We're all adults here. You can't just go and monopolize a person without having any sort of conversation about it, you know? I timidly nod. You're completely right. Actually, yeah, surprisingly enough, she has a fucking point. I don't know what got into me. Jealousy. Human nature. It's, it's a thing. We're very territorial creatures, usually. You just like her. That's all, and that's okay. You should be more careful about actually communicating your thoughts next time. I know, I know. Thank you, Sarah. It may not have exa uh, been exactly what I wanted to hear, but it's what I needed to hear. I stand up, causing the bed to squeak as my weight disappears. Sorry for bothering you. I'll handle it myself from here on out. Don't worry about it. It was better that you talked with, uh, talked over to me before you blew up on anyone anyway. Yeah... <laughs> Personal as that is, discussing that, like a lot of things, having someone to vent to and then getting a second opinion, you know, bouncing the, bouncing ideas off back and forth, that always kind of helps, you know. True enough, good night. With a heavy sigh, I turn my head out the room. I fling off my clothes and carelessly jump onto the, onto the bed. What a day. I just know things will be awkward to us now, too, even if she didn't notice me wanting to do it. Gah, I'll be able to get the image out of my head, ever. My eyes drift shut to the rhythm of my own breathing. 
the next morning. Rather than my alarm clock, a knock at the door wakes me up. Still in my underwear, I quickly throw on something from the closet. You can come in. Yep. My stomach again suddenly begins to churn when the door opens to reveal Amelia's pale, beautiful face. She steps inside, not a hint of anything that would suggest she knows what I saw. Okay. I have a weird double-clicking thing with my mouse, so... With a, uh, quick, uh, with a quick wave and a smile, she pulls me out of my head. Good morning. Good morning. Is there something I can do for you? Well... Actually, I just wanted to apologize for not being around much yesterday. Koda Hall told me you seemed worried about me. I try my best not to flinch at the name. Click. Ah, yes, I was. You were skipping meals, so I was worried you might have gotten sick. Oh, no, not, not at all. The white hair woman blushes. I, I just wanted to make sure I made it for the few days of work that I'd skipped. I felt bad about skipping my duties. That's okay. I mean, Sarah might have complained, but it wouldn't have been a big deal, really. Hmm, if you say so. Either way, I'm glad that it's out of the way now. We can spend some time, we can spend some time together now. Bleh. Words. My chest aches at her words. Yes, words, again. Y yes. Would you like to eat breakfast together? I give her a small smile. Sure. I'm interested in a few minutes. I'm still a bit tired. Alright, see you there. She turns around, the door closing behind her. I collapse onto the ground from a mixture of fear and shock. How am I supposed to resolve this mess? I pick myself up and dust off my legs, taking a moment to calm down. I suppose I'll have to tell her what I saw at some point. Yeah, that'll be beautiful. Out of the dining area, I do my best not to look deflated. Thankfully, no one except Sarah seems any wiser. But the twinkle in the blonde's eyes is somehow annoying, and her lips are permanently stuck in a mini smirk. Of fucking course. Ignoring her, I take a seat that's slightly more distant from everyone than I usually would. Something wrong, Captain? You're sitting kind of far away today, aren't you? You're unusually observant. I laugh it off. I just thought I'd give Amelia some extra room for her plates today. Go to Hall, Sarah and I laugh, but Amelia smiles as if she's genuinely pleased. You're always so kind, Erica. I... was that... I did... was that really supposed to... Okay. Fine. Whatever. Take it the way you want to. R right. I lie down just as Sarah pushes the plate towards me. Oh. Were you the, the cook this morning? Cook. <laughs> That's the noise. C makes a cut noise. Cock. Cunt. Church. Sure was. Figure the three of you could use a break. She winks at me and takes all of my self control and not to dry heave. Huh? Why do we need a break? I'm not sure. Just a hunch I had. Uh huh. Oh. Okay. Ignoring the blip of awkwardness, the four, four of us begin to eat away at our delicious breakfast. Just as I sit down, someone else enters the room with a friend with frantic footsteps and huffing. H hey, Erica, is something wrong? You just ran out if you're done eating. We didn't even get to talk. Fuck. Um. This. This. Okay. Mm. Look. <sighs> This sounds confrontational. This one right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sounds extremely belligerent. Like, start a fight, like, I'm pissed, even though I shouldn't be super jealous blaming it on you. Of course, I'm. No, 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 no. Of course, something's wrong. No. Th this is retarded. That's stupid. Not doing that. Then again, this. <sighs> and, and both of these really feel like they go more along the. The bottling it in kind of route. Especially this one. This may seem more suspicious though, but this may be, I don't. <sighs> so no, these two are both kind of self-destructive. Uh... Mm. I'll try deflecting the question. Actually, I just want to take a moment to myself. But how are you feeling? You must have been tired out from yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> and now I can't get that image out of my head again. Great. 
I'm alright, thanks. She still looks concerned, but doesn't push the issue. Uh, anyway, sorry for bothering you. I suppose I should get to work for the day. With a sad smile on her lips, she turns to walk away. Although I'm tempted to stop her, I can't bring myself to do it. Amelia's back and quickly disappears behind the cover of the closed door. What am I even doing? I need to sort out my feelings quickly. Mm-hmm. I let myself drop down to the cushions of the couch and sigh. How did I end up back here? I look around the room, my eyes stopping in the spot where I'd seen Kotoha and Amelia the day before. The pit of my stomach is filled with guilt, regret, and sadness. I clench at the pain. Taking a few steps forward, I'm taking those signs of the untainted sections of the garden. I should leave before I upset myself any further. As I begin to walk towards the exit, the door slides open and causes me to jump back in surprise. Hmm? Hey, Captain. What are you doing here? Oh, just taking a walk around to clear my mind. And you? Same for the most part. Sometimes I sneak a nap in here. So yesterday might have been a spur of the moment thing. I'm not going to ask Kotoha about it either way. Huh. We can even sleep in here. Kotoha walks past me, heading to almost exactly the same spot I'd seen her doing it at. She crouches down slowly and lowers herself to the ground, her arms behind her as a pillow. Right here, like this. Isn't it uncomfortable? Not really. I see. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Have a good rest. Oh, okay. See you later. Well, it scared me with away with surprising speed. Get me the fuck out of here. I just ran away, didn't I? Such a mess. While well, walling with myself, pity, two hands land on my shoulders. Ah! I try to, uh, to run, but arms wrap around my waist to hold me in place. Oh. S sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Holding on to me didn't really help. I brush your arms away as I calm down. Uh, oh, it was an entirely instinctual reaction. Her pale cheeks redden as she laughs. Whatever it was, it was darn cute. <laughs> Is that so? She finds you in distress cute. Run! She frowns at me. Seriously, Eric, you're worrying me. I'm sorry. Please don't worry about it. All right. Her saddened face sends a jolt of pain through me. I try my best not to react. So you were, um, cleaning around here? Yeah, just making the rounds. And coincidentally, heading in the same directions where Kodaha's hanging out. Well, I'll, I'll leave you to it then. I have some inspections to take care of. Okay, see you later. I nod and give her a tiny weak smile. I hope she bought it. Then again, it'd be better if I could stop trying to run away to my seer. Just as I start settling into bed, there's a knock at the door. Though somewhat weary, I call it that it's safe to enter. Amelia walks into the room, frustration visible on her face. As she settles on standing a few inches away from the bed, her gray eyes pierce through me. Erica, we need to talk. Alright, what's wrong? You've been acting strange and I can't take it anymore. You have to tell me what's going on, it's driving me crazy. I really don't think this is a time or place. I was just about to go to sleep. She crosses her arms, straining as they press against her chest. <laughs> Please, that's not the whole one run thing. Something is bothering you and you're acting all weird because of it. I want this to be resolved so we can go back to the way things were. My cheeks heat up as the anger boils inside me. Don't! You have no fucking right! My fists clench and I'm, and I'm sure my expression exudes frustration, but I don't care. You really want to know about why I've been avoiding you? Ah, uh, she's blowing up again just like the heck of a I'm gonna kill everyone, god damn it! You insane bitch! No one takes a step back, shocked my sudden change of tone. Yes, I do. Have it your way. I caught you and Kotoha messing around in the garden. You had your hands all over her. In her, too. Amelia suddenly looks like she's seen a ghost, her pale skin now shades lighter than I've ever seen it. So you saw that. Her eyes bolt nervously from place to place. I, I mean, it just kind of happened. Not like I have any feelings for or anything. It was just sex, really. I can't even blink. What does that leave me exactly? What am I to you? I honestly don't believe- I honestly believe we had something. I thought you liked me and I liked you. Maybe it wasn't- isn't love, but I genuinely have feelings for you, and I and catching you sleep with the women is just giving me mixed fe uh, signals. 
feels wrong. Erica, I... I do like you, but sometimes I get urges and really it didn't mean anything to me. I'm sorry, but how can I believe that? You hadn't even instigated anything. How was she supposed to be sure you were actually interested? You fucking d You didn't even come to me first. You just did it with the first girl you saw, apparently. I can practically hear the twig snap. All of a sudden, Amelia's demeanor shifts to one that's barely recognizable. She slowly inches her way closer to me, a serious expression on her face. Her hands land on the bed, both close to my thighs, her lips nearly touching mine. And it'll be fine if I just do it right with you right now, won't it? Alright. Before I can respond, she forces me into a hard kiss, her tongue slipping past my lips. The sweet temptation prevents me from pushing her away. Finally, she pulls away. Okay. Stop. This is what I meant, and... Well, it's already too late. She tries to kiss me again, but I block her lips to the back of my hand. I'm sorry, Amelia. I need time to think everything over. I roll away from her and stand up. Kissing, touching, nothing's just gonna magically make it better. I understand we had no agreement where you couldn't sleep with anyone else, but emotions just aren't that rational. No, you really aren't that rational. Yeah. You're being completely unreasonable. Not just irrational, unreasonable. As if back to normal, she pounces as she stands. I get it. I'm sorry too, Erica. She wordlessly walks towards the door, stopping just in front of it. What it's worth, I'm not giving up on you. And then she's gone. Trying to ignore the ringing pain in my chest, I settle back into bed, burying my face in the pillows. Even after all this, I still like her. I was so happy when she kissed me, that she said she hasn't given up. But neither of those things undo what she did either. She did nothing wrong. Mm. Next morning, with a big yawn, I toss the blankets aside and force myself to get out of bed. Oh, okay. Things are still going to be awkward and unresolved, aren't they? I've been failing my duties as a, as a captain. Or, suppose I'm not truly a captain any longer. Just a dumb, love-struck woman. Oh, uh, here we go. This is the fucking turning point moment, isn't it? I sigh while I pull on some clothes. I'm not sure if I can ever get used to any of this. It's too weird. With a quick fix of my outfit in the mirror, I unwaveringly head into the hall, ready to start the day. The tension in the room was unbearably thick. Is it, though? Is it? This is delicious, Erica. Sarah, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Of course. Um, is there something going on? Was there an argument I don't know about? I can barely stop myself from grinning at the irony. You must be imagining it. Right. Sarah slams a closed fist against the table, annoyed. How about we don't play any stupid games here? If there's an issue, be adults and address it. I'm not going to name anyone, just get it resolved. I apologize for the annoyance. We'll resolve the problem on our own time, rest assured. As long as you understand. Well, I'd appreciate it if someone could fill me in. That probably isn't the best idea right now. We'll talk about it another time, cut all. For now, this is between Amelia and I, alright? The Reverend Hair Girl timidly nods, confusion still mixed into her expression. Everyone returns to eating in relative silence. Okay, and I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.